Hey everybody, I'm Samantha Cusick and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel and my very first YouTube video. I'm so excited, I've wanted to do a YouTube channel for I don't even know how long and I'm literally so excited that I've got round to it. So yeah, let's do it. So today I'm going to show you how to get this, which is our signature beach wave that you see all over our Instagram on your own hair. Now to create this beach wave, I'm going to be using this, which is my GHD Soft Curl Tongue. Now this, I've got to admit, is my go-to tool. I use this all the time, and this is my preferred method to create beach waves on my own hair. To start off, the first thing you need to do is section your hair. Now I like to keep it really simple, and literally split my hair in two, like I'm about to wear bunches, and then clip one side out of the way completely, so we can focus on one side at a time. We're going to be starting on the underneath of the first section, so we're going to take the top out of the way and start on the underneath. So starting at the back of that section, we're going to take a big, fairly chunky section because we want nice loose waves. So the smaller the section, the sort of tighter the curl. So because we want loose beachy waves, we're going to be working with quite big sections. <laughs> Sorry, Sydney is making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <It's> funny. <laughs> okay. So our first section, we're going to take our tongs with the clasp on the top, pop it in our hair, halfway down, and then twist it up. And then what we're going to do is release the hair at the top, pull the hair, the tongue down a little bit and do that until our hair drops off the end. To achieve a perfect beachy wave, you need to alternate the way in which you do your curls. So obviously with the first section, we did it with the tongue on, with the clasp on the top. So what we want to do to make sure we go the other way is put the tongue clasp on the bottom so that when we put it in, it forces us to roll the hair round the tongue the other way. So we're creating those alternate waves. And then exactly the same thing, drop the hair off, twist it back up, and do the same thing till the hair drops off the bottom. Moving on to our next section, we're gonna take from the back of the head through to the temples, and then pin that out the way. We're gonna be repeating exactly the same thing, so starting in the back of this section, taking our tongue with the clasp on the top, popping it into the hair, twisting all the way back up, holding for a second, and then releasing the top bit, and again, until we've done all the hair. So the next section, we're gonna be doing the other way. So we're gonna take our tongue with the clasp on the bottom, pop it into the hair, twist up towards you, Hold it for a second, and then we're going to release, twist, and drop. When it comes to your front section, so any of the pieces around the hairline, what we want to make sure we do is curl away from the face. So for this side, that means having the tongue on the top of the hair, and on this side it means having the tongue on the bottom, so that way you always are curling away from the face. I've left all of my little sections of hair as they've come from the tongue just to cool down and set to make sure my style lasts as long as possible. Now I'm going to repeat exactly the same technique, alternating the way in which I do my curls until I've done all my hair and just make sure that when you do the hairline sections you always go away from the face. So just to recap our technique, we're going in with the tongue, rolling up through the top half of the hair, and then once that's done its thing, we're just letting the hair drop from the top and twisting, 
and repeating the same thing but keeping the ends that little bit straighter. Now that I've finished curling all of my hair and it's cooled down, it's time to take our wide tooth comb and start separating out all of these little ringlets to make beachy waves. Anybody that follows me on Instagram would see I'm obsessed with doing these comb out videos on my clients. I find it like ridiculously satisfying um, and it kind of has the same effect when you do your own hair. So um, yeah, take a wide tooth comb and brush out your waves. And get our hands in there and really add some texture in too. And you can see that all those little ringlets have separated into our perfect beachy texture. The final stage to make sure your beachy waves are perfect is to add in a little bit of product. Now I love to use this, which is the Sasha Joanne Ocean Mist. It's just really cool at creating that actual I've been at the beach texture. We're just gonna spritz this globally through our hair by lifting and spraying to make sure that it, it all gets a hit of that texture that we want. And there you go, our finished look. Beachy waves using a curling tongue. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more hair tutorials. If you have anything specific that you want me to show you, please leave me a comment and I can have a look and get around to making a video for you. Thank you so much, bye.